At 13 and 6 with three weeks left in the regular season, Aiken girls basketball is happy with its progress so far and confident looking forward. For more on what has made the Gobblers click this season, here's Clayton Castle. Don't look now, but the girls basketball team representing the Aiken High School Gobblers are coming down the final stretch of the season with an impressive 13 and 6 record thanks to two separate winning streaks of 7 and 5 games. We're feeling pretty confident actually. We've been doing a great great this season, kind of have our ups and downs in between our sh our little streaks that we have. A few of those six losses were close losses, and the team uses those games to learn and grow before the next game. Every loss that we've had has been a hard-fought game, good competition, and hopefully it's building towards more victories down the road. Last night's 69-33 win over Mora marked the seventh time this season that the Gobblers held opponents to less than 35 points. That's a testament to the strong focus the team puts on defense. We have super tenacious defense. We work on our defense probably every practice, uh, do this shell drill where we do five on five, and just work about our help side defense. On any given night, any of the girls can contribute and become a leading scorer. This season alone, five different girls have had the highest score tie in a game. On our team, there's not just one designated shooter. We have a lot, a lot of people who can score and drive and just take it to the rim and make a good play. And so it makes it hard for other teams to guard us. But as the players and coaches say, it's all about team chemistry and improving both on and off the court. I think our team chemistry is a strength. Uh, coach always talks about to us about being a family and families have their ups and downs and we always seem to work through our problems on and off the court. The Gobblers next take on Moose Lake Willow River next Monday night on the road. Reporting in Aiken, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Thanks, Clayton. As he said, a little time off for the Gobblers. We'll be back at it on Monday against Moose Lake Willow River. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.